Also, it's had it was a bad day and evening on the roads with parts of both 75 and 70 completely shut down at times. A semi went down an embankment right after three cars crashed in front of it on Interstate 70 this afternoon. Two News reporter Kristen Escow live in Clayton after talking with the people in that semi. Mark and Brooke, state troopers say at least three cars were involved in this crash, and the semi that went down the embankment luckily didn't hit any other cars. Now, the people that were inside that tractor trailer say they fear this could have ended a whole lot worse. Interstate 70 East shut down for hours as police investigate a multi vehicle crash. Two tow trucks had to be called in to pull this tractor trailer out of a ditch, which swerved to avoid hitting the other cars. Sean McDaniel and Emily McKenna were inside. I was saying, oh God, oh God, oh God, because he just avoided hitting like four cars, swerving behind and going into the ditch. So it really did avoid a major catastrophe out here. We avoid accidents. That's what we need to do. That's what we do. Troopers say another semi was driving erratically or having a mechanical problem shortly before five Monday afternoon when cars behind it started slowing down. They say that's when a red Chevrolet rear-ended a gray Mercedes and then struck a Buick. Troopers say the Mercedes may have hit a fourth vehicle. Officials say one woman was treated on scene for a concussion, and a five-week-old baby was taken to Dayton Children's Hospital for observation. One of the cars had out, uh, you know, it was on Shoulder Road. Then I uh, boarded it. I hit. I just went to the ditch. I hit the ditch. And that was it. Troopers say distracted driving is a likely factor in the crash. McKenna says she believes it's a reminder to be careful on the highway, especially around tractor trailers. Don't drive up on them. Don't slam on your brakes like that. You got to be careful. They could be carrying a heavy load. And investigators say they're still questioning everyone involved and aren't sure yet if any charges will be filed. Now, the highway did have to be shut down on the eastbound side near State Route 49, but it reopened around 7.30 this evening. For now, we're live in Clayton. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.